In this video, I'll show you how I turn this glass box into a mossy mountainscape terrarium. For this build, I'll be using this nano glass tank, which I made myself out of picture frame glass. I won't be showing how to make the tank today as I've got a few videos on the channel that explains how to do it. So let's get straight into the build. I'm gonna start by using this leaker to create a drainage layer. It's the perfect material to use for drainage as it can hold water within each piece as it's so lightweight and porous. If you haven't got leaker, small rocks and stones also work great. After pouring it in, I'm gently patting it down to make sure it's nice and even with no high or low points. This is window screen mesh and I'm gonna use it as a substrate barrier to stop the substrate from getting down into the drainage layer. I'm placing the terrarium on top and then using a sharp blade to roughly cut it to size. It doesn't have to be exact and it even works better if it's a little too big. As I briefly mentioned earlier, this will stop the substrate from falling through all the gaps between the leaker. Now it's in place, it's time to add the terrarium substrate. I'm using my usual mix, which I'll put up on screen now. For my UK viewers, you can actually buy this mix ready-made from my website. I'll leave a link in the description. After pouring in a few cupfuls, I'm using my hand to gently press it down. Be careful as it's important not to over compress it. For the hardscape of this build, I'm using a rock which I've never used before. This is maple leaf rock. It has a nice red tone to it with loads of detail and texture within each piece. For this build, I'm planning on making a mountainscape with a path going up through the center. For this build, I'm gonna use a few different tricks to create a great sense of depth and make the terrarium look as if it's a lot deeper than it actually is. With the first couple rocks in, I'm now gonna create another layer of substrate for the next rocks to sit on top of. Building the substrate up towards the back is a simple and easy way to improve the sense of depth. With the next layer of substrate in, I'm gonna place some more rocks inside. To keep the rocks stable and to stop them from falling down, I've attached some small pieces of wood to the base. I'll show you how I did this for the next layer. Even with just a few of the rocks in, I can already start to see the vision I had for this build. Another trick I'm using to improve the sense of depth is that I'm using smaller and smaller rocks as I go. I'm sure you know how perspective works, this will make the rocks in the back look as if they're in the distance. Here's how I install the small piece of wood. To start, I'm creating a small hole in the rock. The rock is actually so lightweight and porous you don't even need to use a drill. Then I'm taking a wooden skewer, chopping it to size and then attaching it in place with some super glue. I leave it to dry for five minutes or so and then place the rock inside the terrarium. Although the wood will slowly decay over time, by then the moss would have grown enough to lock everything down in place. I'm gonna continue the same process one more time. I'm really liking how it looks and I can already see the depth being created. Before moving on, I'm gonna give the tank a light spray down with water. For this next step, I'm gonna use a small box to prop the tank up at an angle. Now I'm gonna take some sand and create a path down the center of the terrarium. When creating the path, make sure that it's wider at the front with it gradually getting narrower towards the back. This will really help improve the depth of the terrarium and make it look as if the path is going off into the distance. Next, I'm gonna take some super glue and put a few drops on the sand to lock it all down in place. This is only necessary because I sloped up the substrate so high. With the glue dried, I'm using a brush to gently brush down the sand. I'm then giving the center path a light spray down before giving it a light dusting with sand. With the path done, it's time to move on and bring the terrarium to life with moss. This is weeping moss, and although I haven't used it much on the channel before, it's a great moss to use for terrariums. It's fast growing and stays low and compact, which is ideal. I'm taking the moss and trimming it up into small pieces. This will help me cover a larger area with a smaller amount of moss, and it will also help promote new growth. I'm using some long tweezers to gently place the moss in on top of the substrate. It's a good idea to gently press it down as this will help it wick up moisture and stop it from drying out. With the moss in, it's looking 10 times better, but it's certainly not done yet. I made sure to give it a light spray every now and then to stop it from drying out. Next, I'm gonna place in some small maple leaf rocks to add some more detail and interest. I'm mainly placing these on top of the sand to help it blend in better. I really like how it looks with the detailed rocks in, so now it's time to move on and add some springtails. These are tiny bugs that will help keep the terrarium clean and healthy by eating things like mold and decaying matter. They self-regulate their population depending on available food, so you've never got to worry about them overrunning your terrarium. Now I'm giving it a light spray down, closing the front, and then letting it grow for two weeks. Two 
Two weeks have passed and at first glance you might not think much has changed, but when looking closer, you can see that the moss has been growing really well and it's almost completely carpeted the substrate. I've had no issues whatsoever with this terrarium, but I have had to give it a light spray a couple times since setting it up. Before I end this video, I want to say a quick thank you for 50,000 subscribers. It's a massive milestone and I'm grateful for everyone that's following along. There's plenty more to come and I've got some really cool builds coming up soon which I'm really excited to share with you. So make sure you're following along so you don't miss any.